Hey guys, Marble here, and today we have a tutorial on how to make your text look good. Just pretty much a basic text tutorial. So let's just get into the tutorial. You're gonna come into Cinema 4D and just go to MoGraph and on the drop down box click Mo Text and then just make it say whatever you want. Um, that looks good. A line, I want to put that in the middle, and the depth is 200. And sorry about my voice, I'm a little sick today. And change the font to whatever you want. I like fonts like that look like a little basic like this. I don't like using Beebus because everyone uses Beebus. And the font I'm using, um, you can just go download that if you want. All right. So once you get your mo text, you're just gonna drag on any black material. You're all just, you can just copy down these. You can copy these codes. If you want this material, copy all that, copy all that, and just get those, and then just drag that into your Motex. For the caps, you're going to want to put um, yeah, look, two, two looks about right. Make sure you put fill cap, and then I'm sure you all know that. So just command CV your Motex layer, delete the material. And then you're just going to drag in whatever color you want. I'm going to select orange. And for this fillet cap, you're going to want to change this to one and one. And you always want your fillet cap um, like one whole radius lower for your color material. Unless you don't like that, just do whatever you think looks good. That's what I think looks good. And you're just going to select this little box here. Brings up the four panels. Then select the bottom, the bottom left one. And make sure you have your color material selected, and just slide your material up to about there. So right here's the black, and right here is where the color material is going to be showing. We can just do a preview render, and as you can see, it looks like that. The Lightroom isn't that good at all. I just loaded up. It was only one I well, it was the first one I saw. <laughs> So that looks pretty good for now. Um, for caps, we're gonna. I'm gonna put that up about two, two point five. It's a little small. That is a little big. Make sure that your text does not look like the caps are insanely big. Just so make sure it looks good. Because if your caps are too big, then it most likely isn't gonna make your text look good. This Lightroom's pretty much killing my text, but. You get it if you guys get a good Lightroom. It should look pretty nice. Um, I'm actually gonna lower. This is the first one, but if you don't, if you want to keep going, I'd say lower the opacity to about 135, and then right click, well, hold Control or Command whatever you have PC or Mac, and select both Motex, and go to Group Objects, and then. Get a wrap out. And you can just drag the wrap into this. So it's just drag the wrap into the null. Alright. And for the width, you're gonna, I think it's, so let me test this out real quick. Yeah, for width, 850. Height, just leave that same. Radius, 300. And tension, about. I'd say mm, 47. No, it's way too much. You guys can mess around with that. Whatever you think looks good will hopefully look good. And make sure you don't stretch out your text too much or make it like that. Make sure it looks like how the font would look. And that's pretty much it for a basic text tutorial. Um, if you want more text tutorials, um, I've been getting a lot of requests. And I'm trying to learn some more, trying to experiment. I'm also doing the GFX pack right now. I'm uploading them to Mediafire. I already had the video uploaded, so that's why it'll look like it uploaded like a couple days um, ago. As you can see, it's right here. I'm just waiting on the links. It's right there. So I hope you like the GFX pack. And 
that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any tutorial requests, please send them in. I'll try my best to, um, you know, help you out. And that's it. Peace out.